Welcome back folks. This is lesson 62 and our last one we did was on composition if you remember and one of the sketches, uh, one of my sketchbooks I got out and, and we had this, this, this is a, a, a sketch and this is what I, I've sketched from that onto my actual watercolour paper and this is the one we're going to do so it's based on that. I tried, I, I, I think thought in terms of putting that sky on but it, it, it wouldn't work what I've got to, what I've got in mind, so I've, I've, had to, I've had to change that because the lighting is coming from the right here, and that's all coming from the left. So this is the colours we've got here. And we've got the usual raw sienna or ochre or ultramarine, ultramarine and burnt umber, and a wheat mix of alizarin and crimson. The, 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 it didn't get far different from that, so you, you know all about that. So I think you, we should get cracking. We know all about it, don't we? Uh, this is our, our, our main feature is, is this boat here with a church in the distance. It gives you interest there. And the village of the Blakeney is there. And, and there's a couple of boats just to balance this off a bit. And there's the water from the creek or the uh, Morstan Key. And this marsh, this is marshland and stuff like that. And that's the sky, of course. So let, let, let's, let's make a start of the sky first, shall we? I thought we'd have a nice day, but bearing in mind where the, 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 the light's coming from, it's coming from the right today. So let, let's just, just want to put some clean water on here. Randomly, it's always randomly, but it's, 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 it's placed in the place where I want it. Put it that way. Yeah. It's, it's placed, but it's random, if you know what I mean. Anyway. Uh, let's, let's see how we go. This is uh, just clean water. Now I'm, gonna, I'm not using any sienna for sunshine, so I'm just going to use some, some blue to start with. Let's put a touch of blue in here. I saw a blue sky the, the other day and uh, someone remarked and it was very, very good. Lovely, lovely colour. And I thought, wow, that is nice. So we'll try and reproduce something like it. I think this was a sky, it was now a country, but to, that's, just, that's running too much, so I'm going to mop that out. I don't want that. Down to the horizon. It's a, it's a lovely day. One of the church in that. We can. This is an unusual church because it's got two towers. This is Blakeney Church, by the way. If you don't know the area. And just, just, just down here, I want to introduce a touch of, a touch of the alliterin into that, just to soften the horizon. Right down to the horizon level there, which is just there. Now I said the light is coming from the right, so we're going to get shadow on the left hand side of the cloud. I've mixed a bit of the, the burnt umber and the uh, ultramarine, and I just wanted to put in a suggestion of shadows on, on the side of the, these clouds here. Soften it a bit. Because the, the light is from top right, don't forget. So we're going to get, it might be a cloud, a cloud shadow, you know, a cloud, uh, a rain cloud, I should say. Just giving us that, that area of cloud. Let's just pop it in and break them up a bit. So we've got a bit of a bit of cloud there, but it's a lovely day. So don't 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 let's uh, let's spoil it. A little touch more touch more strength on that bottom of there. Some some rain in the bottom of that. Not that nice a day, is it? that 
that side, around that side. And blend that into the into the horizon, just there. Don't know what that is on there, but I'll ever leave it. I'll make a pig's ear of it. Right, leave that. Now, what, what we'll also get this, this is the the creek course. You, what what is going to appear is, is is the colour of the creek is going to appear in here, isn't it? So let's get let's get that in. Another boat. That comes into into the village there, or it doesn't go into the village. It goes beyond around the village. And let's put this in here. And of course it isn't all blue like that. So what we do is soften that end for a start, which goes away from us. And there's some cloud in there, so we'll, we'll re represent this, this cloud formation as well in this water. Don't forget that. So this will come into the water as well. And of course, just on the distant tip there, there's there's uh, an introduction of the alizarin, shall we? Just there. That's okay. I seem to dry now. But there's, there's one piece I've forgotten, because just, just here, is it the, the the tide when it comes in? It, it comes up to about here, and so the, this big, all this is usually wet, and there's, there's a bit of a puddle there. So I want to reproduce that puddle, which is of course is a reflection of the sky, isn't it? So we'll have that bit of a puddle in here. We need that. It's a little feature in the front of your picture. Too blue. Let's pick some of that stuff up there, shall we? There we are. I might even lift out some of that because this cloud, isn't it? Picking that up there. But that's that's, that's in the puddle. Oh, forget that puddle now. Now what I want to do is go into this uh, this horizon area, and of course, right across here, uh, there's the this this is all sort of like marshland, and I want to sort of represent that by painting the distant a distant green now to, to paint that I need sort of a a, a, a blue a sort of perhaps French ultramarine and a touch of uh, raw sienna what we've used already and let's see if we can get a, a bit of a distant green I don't want it to jump out at me it's got to stay back that's important the green has got to stay back. A bit of that colour into that and darken it. See how we go. Yeah, that should be alright. And that's this, that's across this piece here. And then as the grass comes closer to us, it gets it's it's that that distance there is about half a mile. So We've got to represent this with, with colour. So as I get closer, well, I'm going to introduce cadmium yellow, which will bring that green further towards us. Let's see how we go with that. That's slightly, slightly stronger. As it comes across the marsh there. And as we get near to this this edge, this edge, this is like a, a, a sandy bank. So, we'll, so we'll put that, uh, we'll put the rest of that green in there. Make it a little bit stronger. It's coming towards us. A little bit of that green. You know what makes him most? It's just a just a, a little little spot. Of, and then that comes that comes even closer to us. Is a stronger colour. And I'll weaken that colour as I go 
according to the distance there, because that's going further away from us, isn't it? The strength of the colour is round here, then it goes into your distance, in towards the village there. Right, that'll do for now. Uh, let's let's tattle some of these. I'll get a smaller brush for this thing. We'll tattle this. Uh, just there's some distant woodland here, so I want to sort of don't make that too bright. I want it to sort of uh, won't be distant, like it should be. So we'll see how we can get on with that. I'm mixing a bit of colour, mixing some uh, some of the blue and some of the alizarin crimson together just to give me a sort of a a distant colour that's too, that's too close that one so you, you, you keep testing this to, to make sure you get the right and I use a test piece of paper so I can I can make sure I've, make sure I've got the right colour I want a bit more of that a bit more blue in there on this test, the test paper, I'll show it you, which I'm just testing on yes, you see, that looks about right where I've got. And that is going to go behind the village. It's like old trees and stuff like that. Now that, that distant tree has just touched where I don't want it to. Not too worry, we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out. Go to there, of course here. And then as it comes towards the towards the church, the the colour will, will will come up, come away from the distance stuff, and start going green. So we'll get a stitch of green in here like this. Because it's down there. This this is closer than that, so you get more colour as you come that way. Them. These, are, these are all trees in front of the church. All you can see is the two towers. So I'll put that in there. And I want to sort of... Uh, I think I'll try and darken down that uh, undergrowth a little bit just to take it away from the sunshine. That should be all right. Down here just to... The light's from the right, don't forget. So if you get any, any colour there, you're going to get on that side of the that side of these trees. They're only small, but uh, the, the, it does help to get it right. I don't know if you can hear that noise. It's, it's we've got two or three resident pheasants here, and we feed the birds, so they 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 think they they're in in charge as well. Now that's, that takes it that far, then I can strengthen this green a little bit more because it's coming closer towards us. Let's get a bit more strength. This is cadmium yellow. This is a good rich, rich colour for green. It'll bring me the colour towards me. I always have a test paper, see if it's alright for you. That yeah, seems alright. So we'll put this, 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 this green. Which is a bit long, a bit brighter than that one. And make it raggy at the top because it's, it's trees and you can see a little bit of detail there. That's all. And then we'll put some dark green in the bottom of this. Where the undergrowth is. But getting back to the sketch, you see, this is it. We're talking about composition in our last last uh, lesson. It's important to get these sketches because I mean, I, I, I must have sketched that ooh, ten years ago, and I haven't used it, and I'm using it today. So, uh, have it have it on record. It's, it's your. It's, it's not a form of photograph. It's your work. You sketched it, and take it from there. There's nothing like doing your own work. 
Now, so that, that's, that's tidy that little bit up now. Now, down here is a, is a, is a field. It's, it's a, a, a light. I want the sun to catch this field. And I'm going to put some uh, cadmium lemon in this. Let's see how we come up with sort of a green with this cadmium lemon. It'll give you a bright sunlit, sunlit appearance to it. Let's see how we go. Right, this field coming down this bank is, is sunlit, if you like, and it's got this lemony colour on it. It just gives it the, the, the glow of, of sunshine. So that's a good colour to have in your pan like that if you've got one. That cadmium lemon. That's mixed with, uh, with the blue, of course. And that gives me a, a luscious, luscious spring green, if you like. And it's, it's quite nice, that. As it gets down to this part here, I want to just darken it a little bit just here. Because it's closer than, closer than that back piece. And then just here, you can just see, there's a path here which comes from Morston, and you can walk all the way to Blakeney. Beautiful walk, they tell me. I've never done it myself. I'm not, I'm not uh, that sprightly enough. Still not away. Can't have it all, can we? So th this walk here, and I'll, I'll put that as a, as, a, as a path there, but I'll let that dry up a little bit first. And I think what I'll do next, I'll try and put these two towers in from the church. See how we go with that. I want to start it off with, uh, I think a Rosienne would be nice. That. A nice sunlit, sunlit tower. Too much fuel on that one. And don't forget where the light's coming from. Later, what we'll do, we'll put some shadows in there on that on the left hand side. That'll that'll make that more sort of three dimensional, and uh, and look it looks like you meant it. So it's just flat just now. Don't worry about it. We'll come back to it. And in the, in the village there, of course, there's, there's uh, pantal roofs and stuff like that. So we can pick a bit of pantal around. A good colour for pantal is, is either your uh, burnt sienna, which is a lovely colour, or you can use light red. It's a simple. The light red is, is, is more uh, is less is more opaque than the than the sienna. So it's a personal choice. Let's see how we go. And I just I don't I don't want really to put people in or anything like that down here. These are just the village on show. Houses all over there. It's a popular spot. Very popular is Blakeney. Oh, Monkston is as well. In fact, this used, used to be a bit, a, a, it's all silted up now, but it used to be a, a, coming to a port of clay mill, and it's, uh, and they used to do a lot of business there. But of course, it's with us all silting up, and it got too much, and that, they've just left it to the sea, because the sea wins in the end, doesn't it? Bit of dark there. They're in amongst the houses, of course, there's, there's people have gardens and various kind of shrubs. I mean shrubs in our garden that some that they'd be just, just coming into bud well some of them's flowering just now, the the camellias, but uh, some of the other stuff are just coming into into well into flower. It's, yeah we've got the the plant at the front called the bride and that's beautiful it is. Don't know it's don't know it's breed or anything like that but it's uh, it's quite nice. Well, Carol's the gardener, not me. She loves the garden. But this is just, it's, it's just dotting it in and, and it's, it's, it's part of the village, which, which is, in fact, what we've created there, if you look, is, I'll put a bit up here as well. 
we've created another layer that's this distant distant water and here's the the village here so we're green there's a layer there and a layer there and here and then we're coming forward the nice green field here so it's, it, it's starting to come together gradually it's just i want to make sure we get some, some nice darks in Out of there. Now there's in, in Blakeney, there's a key there, which 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 is lovely. If, if you ever have that here, just, just go and visit it because it, it's really nice. Right, that's that's the background sorted out. Let's see where we're going now. Oops, pick the brook across now. I think what I've got, I've got to get rid of some of this white. There's, there's some, um, I said, a sandy bank down there. This is all sandy and silt and stuff like this, which is covering water on most of the time, but it's, it's low tide. So we, we, we've got these boats just tied to that and waiting to, for the tide, if you like. So we, we've got to represent this. It's, I'll start this with, with a, a, a pale color. Let, let's, let's do it some, some sienna first. And, and, and there's also grass and all sorts growing on this this stuff here. When 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 it's, when it's out, you know, it's uh, it's it's quite quite grassy as well. I think there's some grass in there as well. All right, it. So there's, there's grass down here as well, so we, we'll pop that in, that'll balance that bit there. We're multitasking here, folks, multitasking. We keep dodging about from one place to another. I think I'd like a dark in the bottom of that, let's pinch a bit of that there. That's quite dark. It's dark, and also what it does, it's 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 it's, it's in the shadow this, this, from that bank there, so it's not it's not in the sunshine. Another thing here is it brings it; it's a stronger in tone and value, so it brings it towards us. So we look, wow, that's nearer than that, because it's stronger. This is how what we're trying to create, and we've got to decide on the colour of these boats, because uh, this is a feature. It's, it's a de it's a an old boat, but it's it's a and it's, it's just a bit falling to pieces, but in my picture, it's, it's going to be a feature because it's the main thing in the picture. And of course, there's other supporting cast, you know, the, these these boats down here. Keep off that water there. This is the undercoat, folks. It's not, it's not the, the, the finished product. I'm just getting rid of some of the white. Well, there was white on it. It looked like a snow scene. I like doing snow scenes, mine. That's, I, I do. Really good. So there's these there's sandy banks on this side here. And all the time that the, the, the tide the tide comes in and, and it rushes in and fills this fills this up from, from the left hand side. And uh, all the time it, uh, it it's moving these these sandy banks because it's, uh, it's it, the water is constantly effect, affecting it. But it goes into the distance there. Gets stronger as it comes down here. There, getting rid of some of the white. That's it. Right now, you know I've got burnt umber, and I like burnt umber, so I'll put put some of that out as well. That's going to help, isn't it? And so this is is darker here. Uh, 
And we get some real darks in here. Should let dry a bit for a bit to we'll see how we go. We we'll put a bit of detail in there. This bullet there. It's in between those boats there. If you're, if you're in the, in this area, this, this is this is uh, uh, most in Key and Blake. It, it's it's about ten miles from where I live. It's, but but if you're in the area, do visit it because it's it's well worth a, a look. And there's, there's there's lots going off. But I like this. Uh, what I like to do, I like to sit and paint and and paint looking the other way. And, and I, I like to watch the uh, what I call the the the, the, the boat people. They're, uh, they, they, they love what they're doing, they really do, they get so involved with it, they, 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 they bring their, their, their poor befores and the, and the trailer on the back and take off the boat and uh, and then they start putting the rigging on and getting all the stuff inside it and all this and this obviously before the tide gets here this is and they spend hours doing this. And I'm sat painting and I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying all this. And then uh, when the tide comes in, the, the boat's there and, it, and it's uh, and it's ready to go. And the, the only, they only seem to be on the water about so little time. So I, I don't know, I was missing something, but uh, it... They seem to be packing up again before before I finish my painting, you know. I'm, I'm sure they've had a good time. Just doing the edge of that water there. Just. A bit of reflection in there. But uh, they, they, they really have fun. I say, to me though, it, I mean, I'm not a boater, I'm sure I'm wrong, but uh, there seems to be 95% preparation and 5% fun on the boat. I might be wrong, but you never know. They, they enjoy it, they have, they have fun, that's the main thing. That's what it's all about. So speak a bit down here. Now they make this a bit stronger here, because it's closer than that, isn't it? Not much turn that, that green on the top there a little bit as well. Let's have a look at some of these boats now. A bit of dark under there. Colour should we do this boat here? Uh, I think we'll have a blue one today, a blue one. Because we wouldn't have a choice what we like on these two down here. So I'll just I'll put the undercoat on this 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 bigger boat here first, that's the first job. And we'll do it a blue colour. In fact a similar blue to the sky would be nice, wouldn't it? So I'll use that that blue there and paint it blue. I don't want it to look too too new because it's it, it's an old boat and it's no good doing it to so it's just come out of B&Q because it's not, it's, it's, a, it's an old boat Just kept quiet while I'm trying to get that line straight Bring it down to the greenery. Bring this down to here. And because it's 
they, they, they put these pieces of wood here to, to stop it falling over when the, when the tide comes in. That's all very well that that this it's all it's all all blue and lovely. But it's old this, so we're gonna get rubbishy bits on it and we're gonna get bits worn on here like this see. It's still wet so it, it, it's gives it's giving me sort of a show what the, the stuff's like. So in the middle of these two things here. Put dry the top of it. And I might just put a touch of brown in there as well. Or what I want to put in, a touch of burnt sienna because that would, would show sort of mould and rust on it, wouldn't it? It's certainly not got to look new. In fact, this boat, uh, if you go there now, it's not there because if you got that old and that rickety and that, they, they, they took it away and salvaged it. Just I don't know what they did with it, but uh, it's not there now. But the sketch, I, say, I, can, I keep banging on about a sketch, but the sketch and that give me that reference to what I needed. It's, it's, and a photograph is, is, is as good, of course, obviously, but uh, I, I like to work from my own, my own picture. But I was, uh, I'll never forget working in uh, one of the ships, cruise ships. I, uh, put a bit more brown on there. But, uh, that's, that's into pillar somewhere. Working on that, and I was painting a boat or a ship, which was moored quite close to us. Which was an old ship, but it was, it was quite interesting. So I sat there quietly in the sun, just with a pair of shorts on. Lovely it was. You can't beat it. And uh, I was painting away, and I, I stopped to go to the loo. Actually, I had to go to the loo, so I went to the loo and just knit back. And I hit back and the bloody boat had gone, the ship. It had sailed away. I thought, and, well, I thought, and I hadn't taken a photograph. <laughs> so that one, the rest of the, 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 the painting was a guess. We had a lot of fun, that's the main thing. But you don't win them all. dark in that yeah that'd be lovely you will that dry up it gets some dark down here I'll leave that up for a bit, I think. Sort itself out. I'll have a look at these little boats now. Now we can see if we have some colour on. Okay, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll have a, a sort of a mahogany one there. How about that? And a good mahogany colour is burnt sienna. A lovely colour. So I'll have a mahogany one here. Of course, they're not pristine, so in the bottom of it, there, where it's, where it's still wet, you can do this, it's a good idea. Just put, uh, put a, a bit of a dark in it. Uh, but you do it, if it's anything you've got on the palette that looks dark, or I have, I have uh, 
paint grey on my, on my palette so I'm going to just, just have a dip in there and just pop some at the base of that there it takes the newness of it looks like it's been to sea right be nice if we'd have I don't like that way it's going across there though I think this boat will have a sort of a, a red one for a change, eh? red. Nice red boat would be nice. Dip in the cadmium red, that's a good colour, it's on my palette. I've used it a lot, it's a vibrant colour. So we'll pop some in here. the sound I should shoot up then for a change if I was doing this dodgy bit and I want to get that this brush is a bit big for that and I'll just I'll go I'll, I'll go down the stage to a smaller brush. Change it I'll just change the brush there. and that panel there I paint, the, I paint the gunnel a different colour. Right. I want them to dry a bit now, but not like that. Under there. It's still wet, that green, see? Have dried it. That's a verse. I'll, I'll sort that bottom out of them now. That's it, I've got more definition on there. the eye to it, isn't it? Nice bit of, bit of light there. Because it's not it's not new as I said so we, we've got to we've got to darken some of that underside of this because it's it's too pretty. Darken this Just using a, 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 any dart that's on the palette, just to stop it looking too, too B and Q. Want two twiddly bits on here. 
I think we could have a, a, a gun lung there of a different colour when it's dry. One, I think that one's pretty dry now, so I might put a gun lung on top of this one. Probably a blue one. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? A blue gun lung. That'll do. Right, and what I also want to do is, <coughs> let's post pretty, I think, well, not quite dry actually, I'll leave it a bit. Uh, <coughs> so I want to bring that grass further forward. You know, remember we were talking about the, it looks a bit bland at the front. So I'm going to have some cadmium yellow and some of that, the blue there, the wind's blue. I'm going to bring this, this forward a bit just here. It, it comes over, it, 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 uh, the, the, the tide washes away the, the silt from under the bank and, and the, the bank topples over like that. It's, 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 it's grassy, you know, but uh, it, it seems to topple over under the, under the side of the, under the side of the bank. A little bit of, a bit smaller brush there going in the distance because I want to narrow the the thing and don't do it too much and too far because it is taking me away that's, that's lovely that'll do I want some let's see what we've got here yeah. a bit of doubt there Down the water's edge, you, you get all this stuff like this. We get all sorts down here. It's a lovely bird, you know. You get uh, oyster catchers and pine wagtails and so all sorts of uh, what they call them Arctic terns. And in fact, there's, there's a colony of Arctic terns, and, it, and the the bird societies. It's protected. No one's allowed to go there on, on when it's on its breeding season, and it's it's it's, it's really really good. And and it's nice that they're protected. And they're, they're beautiful birds. Mind saying beautiful birds. I I, I was I went on a trip to uh, on the cruise ship uh, to uh, Iceland, and I found the. We went on a walk, and we went to. And we were given all a big pole with, a, with a, like a bit of stuff on top of it. We had to hold it above our heads because as we went past this Arctic Terns colony, they attacked us. And uh, I, I don't see anything like it. I thought, blimey, what are we doing wrong? But uh, we'd, we'd been attacked because we were near their colony. This is their, their ground, so, so we got attacked. And uh, anyway, this is what the long pole's for, so they... But they just they take the pole. They weren't that bright, and we just uh, just carried on walking. But quite interesting though. Dirty old bits of grass and this near, and I know to darken. Let me get some grass coming up over this this boat here because it is old. A couple of pieces of a wood rocks painting in there, we'll paint them in a nice a paler colour. I'll come back to that. I'll put a, I'm going to put a, yeah, pull a gun. I'll put a gun on it. But uh, I don't want it too bright because it's 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 an old boat. It wouldn't look right, would it? I'd probably put a brownie one on. A bit of burnt 
Burn down by down here, this this is dark, this area. Not green. This sort of stuff. Yeah. It's twiddly all around here. restate those these uh, struts that's holding the boat up I say I'll put a, a bit of a brown gunnel on there I think it's uh, not to look too bad either. An old brownie gone on there. Nothing, nothing sparkling. I don't talk much on when I've got a small bit to do. Get water because you only get one shot at it. So you try and get it right. If you can. A bit of a, a bit of a tarpaulin thing in here, and I think uh, I'm gonna get bluish, bluey color. Then again, I don't want it to look too new again. This brush will take me forever using that brush. I'll pick a bigger, bit bigger brush. This is a wet into wet, if you like, I think they call it. I'm just, just making sure that it, it doesn't look new. Right, I want to try and, uh, this is a path just here, as I said, this is a little bit of sandy bank there. I think I love that green, that, that bank, and the path on top is, it's sort of just a pale sandy colour. Let's get so raw sienna is good for that for the path colour. So I'll slip the path in here. Be careful there. And then I say we get some grass coming down down this side here. So I'll pop some of that in just here.
and some of these greens here. Coming across the boat. I say it's been there for years. It's not to, it's not just been sailed in. I think it'd be nice to have a nice juicy dark down down at the bottom here as well. Dodgy down there as well. Right, that church it wants sorting out a little bit on the horizon there. I'll probably I'll probably suggest it. I'll just suggest a, a a couple of indications of windows or something in it because it is. Don't want to do it barren like that. Just a Nobody them sticky up bits. This is twiddly bits this. You can't get on without your twiddly bits. Right, dark brown I want now, dark brown. Emphasize that mud a little bit. Not too dark, but darkish. I want this, this mud to come more muddy down here. It's, it's, it's really rough stuff this in fact and, and and when I go painting down there if I know I'm going down on here I'll put my wellies on because it's, it's so it's so muddy when the tide but the best time to paint this area for me is when the tide's just gone out it's lovely you get lovely shadows and reflections and stuff like that it's smashing so don't don't knock it it's uh, lovely Some mud and all sorts of rubbish out there. We've got a little pole there to put in. This brown's coming forward. I want to restate those, uh, put a 
uh, uh, put a bit of twiddle on this 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 boat. It's it's old, but it it, it was a lap a lap boat. It's and it's and if I put one two lines on it, it'll it'll indicate what what they are. I'll do it in a, in a bit of a dark just to show it. So we'll look what we've got. A bit of paint really might help just to just to show some panels across here. And again, they look to come at crowds, but it must be the view that they've got. Just choose it today, that's the day they come. dark inside there. Shape that to tarp on a little bit. Tidying up that little bit there it was it looked a bit dodgy. I'm going to mast on that now just to break that to light horizon. The uh, this pole wants to go in as well. We're gonna have a pole, aren't we? To the boat's up to. So next thing we ask is where's the light coming from? It's top right, isn't it? So we've got to darken that left hand side of that pole. A bit of a darken, I don't want to do too much on it. Let's just see. Just a touch on that side of the side of the pole. Right, just a redo a bit of indicating on the edge of that water. So you can see it's it's actually water. to look for things to do so the things I've got to do of course is, is some shadows we need some shadows in this it's uh, 
that will that will set it up. But this this green around here, like this green around here, it's it's just restated a little bit. It, it it's nestles in the nestles the boat in. It doesn't the boat don't look plonked in. It's 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 in amongst all the green in the rubbish. And there's some greenery amongst this mud here. You see, we'll, we'll put some of that in. Because it's not it's not sailed for, for for years, so it's it's going green round it. Right, I'm fiddling now. Stop. Stop fiddling. Now what I want to do now is just some shadows. We need some shadows, folks. That's what sets the picture up. Right? I said the ultramarine and the and the burnt timber gives you a nice shadow. Which is uh, transparent, and you, you, it always looks okay. So what we've got, yeah, that'll do. Right. So there's some shattered. Oh, so I'll start at the top and work my way down. Little, little brush. How was it? From the distance there, and the lights from this direction, don't forget. So the in this side of the church towers. Will be in shade. Don't forget that that immediately gives it that, that, a three dimensional look. Some shadows in on the side of this boat. Cause it's in shade. And of course it'll be shadow on the floor from it, won't it, as well. A bit of shadow on the side of this tarpaulin. Put that big brush down now, I think. That's only a bit smaller. The shadow, the sunlight coming down under there. That means that'll be in sunlight. So that one will be in shadow there. That bit there. This will be in shadow. This space here. It'll cast a shadow on the floor, won't it? This will cast a shadow. The pool gets a shadow. Look at that shadow from the back of that boat there. At the back of that. Shadow down here. Green around here, always shadowed, just and shaded just here. As it comes down the front. Oh, where am I coming now? We 
I've said I've put some people on that, that walking on that road and I'll do that as well. Bit of shadows down this. Right, I've got uh, some people to put in. I've got a mask there to put in as well. Right. Let's do that. I'll use Carol's credit card for that, that mask, I think. I can find it. I had to break the horizon as well, like that. But apart from that, I don't know oh, these people. Well, these people didn't. I promise you, some people. Fred and Mabel, they like to get on this. Let's put Fred in first. Fred is going. I'll put him about here, and then that, that keeps him now focal point, doesn't it? Here's Fred. You're going to see just the teeth at the top of him. He's behind that boat. I don't know what he's doing, but his legs are anyway. So there's his body. I'll just show his legs below. There's his legs. Dark head, lad. And he's, he's walking with, with Mabel. This was before they were married, this. So they're very close. So I'll look at Mabel now. Mabel's got a, a top on, which is a nice yellow. If I can get a nice yellow after this rubbish here I've got. See if I can get one. Mabel. She's smaller than him, but beautiful to heart. Lovely girl. Matching jeans. Bug up it was. There she is. Looking the stuff. She's a redhead, she is. A redhead. No hair, just a redhead. Now she's close to him, because this is before they're married, and she's, her head is inclining towards red, like that, as they stroll into the sunset. So this friend Mabel, this is our feature boat to the front here. Uh, I'm looking for things to do. A bit of I might put a bit of shadow down here. It, it looks a bit bland just there. I can get a nice shadow across there. Touch a cloud shadow across this bit here. Well. 
Well, we've got to put your bird in. I'm going to put a bird in. We can't just leave it without a bird in, can we? On a day like this. And it'll be a gull because it's right near the coast. So it must be a, a gull. Don't ask me what kind of gull. They all look the same to me. But they're gulls. Now this one look for a dodgy bit in the sky. Into bit, into dodgy bit. So I'll, I'll, I'll put one in just to. See, that's a smaller, it's not smaller, it's, it's in the distance. Same size as these, but further back. Is there anything else out there? I should be telling you. You might say there, there might be a shadow on Fred's jumper and that, but we're nitpicking, I suppose, on this side. And on Mabel as well. But we're nitpicking there, but not to worry. I could put... I could go into this and put shadows down here, you know, and all this by the by the by these trees here, because it's dark underneath. You wouldn't see where the church would cast a shadow because it's behind the trees. Now you must take that brush off me because I'm messing now. Uh, I think that's that's all for today, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, give us a like and a subscribe. And uh, put any comments you've got down below. And uh, I'll, I'll see you on the next one. So until then, folks, it's goodbye. Goodbye, folks. <laughs>